We are going to look into router protocol and Exila, two promising tokens building tools to solve the blockchain interoperability problem. There have been many sudden influx of blockchain cross-chain bridges and they have varying capabilities. Some only allow for transfer of tokens, whereas others also support message passing between independent platforms. But most of these interoperability solutions have their own issues. So to stand out from the competition, blockchain interoperability projects keep inventing and evolving. More of this to come later. So keep watching because we are going to look at router protocol and ASLA protocol. The teams behind these projects, um, the massive ecosystems they are building, and more importantly, the similarities and differences between router and Excel. So don't go anywhere. I have a lot to cover. Before we look forward to the future though, let's first look at how far interoperability in this space has come. One of the earliest models that was used by developers for interoperability was hash time locked contracts. It uses hash locks and time locks to ensure that the operations remain atomic. Then we have proof of authority bridges. This rely on a small set of outside actors that listen to events on the source chain validate them and relay them to the destination chain. Then another approach came, that's with light client node approach. External actors named relayers forward events from the source chain to the destination chain, including block headers, state proofs, and other relevant data. Another prominent strategy to achieve interoperability is based on relays, sidechains. Cosmos and Polkadot are two of the most active projects using this particular technology as the relays and the sidechains to create cross-chain interoperability. Then we also move to optimistic bridges. It is one of the most secure approaches to interoperability. Optimistic bridges are considered trustless because they require only one honest node to watch the network to make sure that malicious activities do not occur. Unfortunately, these unique approaches have their own limitations ranging from security, decentralization, scalability, among many other issues. So to solve these problems and provide the optimal solutions for blockchain interoperability, a dedicated blockchain layer focusing on interoperability is the new standard. This is the approach taken by Router Protocol and Exla Protocol. These two protocols are layer one dedicated blockchains that are trying to solve interoperability issues. For a detailed analysis of router protocol, I have a video. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can check it out. It will be appreciated a lot if you can take a moment to subscribe and smash down the notification bell for future videos. We are now ready to talk about router protocol and Exla protocol. The similarities between router and Exla are many. Both protocols are layer one blockchains. First, let's look at Exla. Exla enables simple cross-chain communication by providing a decentralized network along with tools, protocols, and APIs that can be utilized for cross-chain requests. Isla consists of two core protocols. One, cross-chain gateway protocol, CGP. It is used to connect autonomous blockchain ecosystems with each other and enables cross-chain routing. With the aid of the cross-chain gateway protocol, blockchains are no longer required to speak the same programming language. Then the other core protocol it uses is the cross-chain transfer protocol, the CTP. It sits on top of the routing protocol, such as the CGP we just talked about. Developers can use the cross-chain transfer protocol to perform cross-chain requests to any blockchain, but also to lock, unlock, and transfer access between addresses on different blockchain platforms. Some features of the Exla protocols are, well, you can easily plug and play. You can also use the cross-chain routing. It also has the upgradability support and uniform language for applications. The founders of Exla are Sergey and Georgios. I hope I pronounced them right. Also, founding team members of Algorand. They are both MIT graduates. And let's say the team is packed with some smart people. Also, let's look at Satellite. It's a protocol that allows you to easily transfer funds or transfer assets from one blockchain to another. So it's easy to use. You can come to Satellite.money and you can easily connect your wallet. As of this moment, it supports Metamask, Kepler, and Terra Station. So you can easily connect your wallet. You select the destination chain as well as the chain that you are sending the tokens from. Then you select the token and easily you can just transfer assets from one chain to another. So it's easily and it's powered by the Exla pro uh, protocol. Then we have the Exla virtual machine. This virtual machine allows developers to 
program interoperability cross chains and compose each other's functions. The arrangements are well, the blockchains that are connected sit on top, then the Excellent virtual machine sits below that and Finally, we have the Excel network that powers everything. There are a lot to cover, and I think this is going to give you a great idea. There are other features of the Excel protocol. This include the composable liquidity. You can create a cross-chain DEX or AMM that enables liquidity from multiple chains. The cross-chain governance also helps in DAOs. You can coordinate activity anywhere on Web3. Then we have the cross-chain NFTs. So there are a lot of similarities between Exla and Router Protocol and directly they are competing networks. The ecosystem of um, Exla is matured. They have a lot of protocols or a lot of D apps that are already using um, or exploring the Exla ecosystem. We have Ledger, QuickSwap, PancakeSwap. There are many others that Exla is powering right now or supporting. One other thing I have to bring to your attention is the funding that they have for developers, the ecosystem funding. Well, as of this moment, it has deployed about 40 plus grants and also 20 plus startups that have been founded. And it has $60 million dedicated to this ecosystem funding. So it's great to help uh, in ecosystem development and Exla is doing great with that. So Exla has been a, a, around for a long time, even though the token has just been trading less than a year. The protocol itself has been here for a long time. So it's something that is not surprising to see this great ecosystem development. Now let's look at the, to uh, the token, right? Um, the tokenomics and the release shuttle and everything going on. So with Exla tokens, well, it's a utility token. So it's used for transaction fees and any other fees for the network usage. Also, it's stake, and so you can stake it and exercise governance over proposals. Also, that's what the validators will receive as rewards, as their incentives to uh, keep the network safe. And also, the AXL token is used to reward ecosystem builders and community contributors. As of this moment, the price of the token is at $0.60. Cents with a market cap of $125 million at a fully diluted market cap of $635 million. Over 20% of the total tokens is about 20% of the total tokens that are in circulation. So that is something that I'm not so excited about. But um, here you can see the release schedule for the tokens. So with this, let's go to um, router protocol and talk about our router protocol is what it's trying to achieve and what it's probably have achieved at this moment. So router protocol prior to uh, the beginning of this year, some few weeks ago, it was just known as a bridge and some few other pro um, functionalities, but now is a layer one dedicated towards solving interoperability. So it's a whole different thing from the router, uh, from the router protocol you probably knew last year. Router chain is a proof of stake layer one blockchain that leverages BFT consensus engine. It's built using the Cosmos SDK. Router chain inherits all the features of Cosmos. There are three ways in using the router protocol. And if you're a developer, you have to be aware of this. We have the Omnichain framework. This framework is for if you want to build an application that requires custom bridging logic or a decentralized accounting layer. For example, you can use this framework to create a multi-chain NFT collection with a single place to maintain the list of all the NFTs minted on different chains. Then we have the Crosstalk framework. Various apps like cross-chain NFTs can be built using this framework. Then the Voyager, it acts as the gateway to the liquidity managed by router protocol. The router token, like the Exla token, is also a utility token. It's used for almost the same things. You pay um, you pay for the transactions on the network with the router token, the route token. Then it's used for governance. You can use it to vote on proposals. And it's also used to incentivize people, to incentivize validators. And just like Exla, router also have an application that you can use to transfer assets. But Voyager also acts as a swap. So it's easily for you to connect your wallet. So here you can connect Metamask Trust Wallet. You know, you can even connect via Wallet Connect, a whole lot of other options here. So you can connect and easily transfer from one blockchain 
to another. The router token is trading at $2.49. The entire market is down today, so it's not surprising. It has a fully diluted market cap of $49 million with um, a market cap of $26 million, which is based on the 54% in circulation. The maximum supply is only $20 million with over $10 million in circulation. So it's better than the, that of Exla when it comes to future dilution of the market. Then they have even released a new uh, vesting schedule to extend what they had initially. So it will even extend the period that it will take for all the tokens to be in circulation. The team is based in India. And I forgot to mention the team of Exla is based in Canada and USA. So that's the difference. But Router Protocol is also built by a team that is, you know, very tech heavy. And they have been involved in DeFi for a long time. So it's also a great team. The ecosystem, well, Router just had a tweet. Router Protocol sealed the deal with nearly 50 partners who have approved Router Chain as their infrastructure to go cross-chain. And they are also building a massive ecosystem. So this is what both Router and Exla are. The two protocols are going head-to-head -head for interoperability adoption. So the difference is, well, especially if you are here for the tokens and you want to know which one to buy. I would say this though, it won't hurt to have the two tokens. But if you're looking to just buying one of them, then I would say I'm leaning more towards Router Protocol because the market cap is much smaller than that of Isla, even though they are all going for the same market. But there was also another thing. Isla has a much developed ecosystem because it has been around longer. The tokens of Router Protocol have traded longer than Isla, but Isla was still active and have, uh, having a layer one blockchain, while Router was a bridge and some few other functionalities. So using the fully diluted market cap, well, our Router Protocol is less than 10% of the market cap of Isla. It's okay to hold the two tokens, but if you are just trying to hold one, I'll go with Router Protocol. And this is not a financial advice. Putting the market cap and the development going on, I feel like at some point, Router Protocol is going to be a competitor and is going to take a fair market share of the interoperability space. They, are, they have a lot of similarities. The differences are very, very small. And sometimes they just use different words in explaining what they are doing. You might end up having a few differences, but I think in the next year or so, Isla is not going to be 10 times bigger or 10 times more advanced than Router. So it proves to me that Router is more undervalued because a lot of people are not aware of Router protocol. Introduction of the blockchain layer one for Router is the reason why I'm so bullish on it. And I'm bullish on Exla too. I think it's a great project to own. But if I have to choose one, I'm going with Router. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell. It's necessary that you get my future videos because I have a lot to talk about. But also please like and comment. It helps with the algorithm to spread the word for people to be aware of the interoperability war that's probably starting.